Uh, today was supposed to be the final day. Dozens of families affected by the January floods were able to stay in hotels. But in the last couple of hours, we've learned some families received another extension for a few more days. I caught up with one of the organizers that funded that extension just a few hours ago. But even with a few more days to stay, that doesn't mean flood victims are in the clear. We honestly need help. Uh, we honestly need help on focusing, getting these families um, the long-term solution, whether it be beat back into their homes um, or figure out some sort of rental type of, uh, assistance. Um, just not enough housing that is out there, but uh, we need to try to figure something out so these families aren't, aren't on the street. How hard is that for, for you and all the other organizations that have been helping since back in January? You've seen these families day in and day out to see them still struggling right now. I mean, it's heart-wrenching. I mean, a lot of these families we know, I mean, as you can see, we're all breaking bread and eating lunch right now um, because these families are have became families of ours. Uh, we've been with them since day one, and we have constantly telling them that we're going to be with them till the end. So to be sitting down right now with them while they're asking us, hey, is there a solution? Is there a solution? Is there a solution? What, long term, I know you guys are, are looking at big picture, though. What have you been able to secure with the Housing Commission and, and, and other entities? Yeah, so so with the Housing Commission, we were able to solidify a contract for $660,000. Um, with that, we're going to utilize to try to um, revamp about 24 homes. Um, with those families that were already in the ETO, it's very limited due to what the county put in place uh, for them to be able to contract out to us. Um, so the plan is to help as many families as we can within that ETO program, at the same time work with the city to utilize that $3 million to help those that aren't in the ETL program and or see if we can mix and match um, with that money and work with philanthropy dollars to, to join in on this to have a little more of loose restrictions to what we can use to help more families even there.